very good morning students let us start our today's class with the prayer god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the difference amen dear children we are going to see the fourth lesson in physics heat all the substances in our surroundings are made up of atoms and molecules as we all know these atoms and molecules are always at vibration vibratory motion due to this motion substance have an energy known as heat energy this energy flows from hot substances to cold substances or from hot region to cold region of a substance when heat energy is supplied to any substance it increases the energy of the atoms and molecules in it and so they start to vibrate these atoms and molecules which vibrate make other atoms and molecules to vibrate thus heat energy is transferred from one part of the substance to the other part we can see this heat energy transfer in our daily life also heat energy brings about lot of changes you might have learned about this heat energy introduction in your earlier classes let's move on to the lesson deeply effects of heat when heat energy is supplied to any substance it brings about many changes there are three important changes let's see that expansion is the first one second increase in temperature third one change in state let's see an activity which explains the expansion take a metal ball and a metal ring of a suitable diameter pass the metal ball through the ring you can observe that the metal ball can easily go through it now heat the metal ball and then try to pass it through the ring it will not pass through the ring why the metal ball on heating expands so that is the reason uh, so heat energy will expand the materials that is the first effect of heat energy why don't the ball go through the ring initially but when through it up when the ball is heated the atom in the ball gain heat energy they start vibrating and force each other apart as a result an expansion takes place that's why the ball did not go through the ring okay um, uh, in uh, electricity transformation electric wires used for long distance transmission of electricity will expand during day and contract at night that's why they will not be set very tightly if they are set very tightly they will break when they cool at night next effect is rise in temperature it's very commonly you know it it can be measured using a thermometer they have given an activity it is to take a cup of water and note its temperature heat the water for few minutes and note the temperature again do you find any increase in the temperature definitely you will find when the water is heated water molecule receives heat energy this heat energy increases the kinetic energy of the molecule when the molecule receives more energy the temperature of the water increases this shows that heat energy causes increase in temperature the third one is change in state a water is very good example for change in state because water can transfer into all the three states solid liquid and gas solid is ice cubes liquid is water gas is water vapor see the activity 3 take few ice cubes in a container and heat them for some times what mm. happen the ice cubes melt and become water now heat the water even more time what do you observe the volume of water in the vessel decreased why because something is uh, uh, um, uh, missing because of the water vapor the ice cubes the force of attraction between the water molecule is more so they are close together when we heat them the force of attraction between the molecules decreases and the ice cubes become water when we heat the water the force of attraction decreases further hence they move away from one another and become vapor since water vapor escapes to the surrounding water level decreases further from this we understand that heat energy causes change in the state of the substances when heat energy is removed changes take place in reverse direction if heat energy is supplied to or taken away from a substance it will undergo a change from one state of matter to the another state of matter 
okay so they have given you the transformation uh, takes place due to heat energy solid to liquid means melting liquid to gaseous state changes means vaporization solid to gas mean sublimentation gas to liquid means condensation liquid to solid means freezing gas to liquid solid means deposition uh, deposition okay these are all given in your textbook okay next transfer of heat if heat energy is applied to any substance it will be transferred from one part of a substance to the another part of a substance but the transformation takes place in different ways depending upon the state of the substance so what are those uh, ways there are three types of transformation one is conduction convection radiation let's see what is conduction conduction is a common process take some hot water in a cup and put a silver spoon in it let the spoon inside the water for some time now touch the other end of the spoon do you feel the heat yes you didn't heat the silver spoon but how it gets heat it is because heat is uh, heat in the hot water is transferred from one end to the other end of the spoon in solid substances such as silver spoon atoms are arranged very closely hot water molecules which are vibrating transfer the heat energy to the atoms in the spoon and make them vibrate those atoms make other atoms to vibrate and thus heat is transferred to the other end of the spoon so this heat energy is transferred from molecule to molecule due to the vibration in conduction heat transfer takes place between two end of the same solid or through the two solid substances that are at different temperature but in contact with one another thus we can define conduction conduction is the process of heat transfer in solid from the region of higher temperature to the region of lower temperature without without the actual movement of atom on molecule just vibration takes place the atoms and molecules did not move from its place okay all metals are good conductors of heat the substances which does not conduct heat easily are called bad conductors or insulators wood cork cotton wool uh, glass rubber etc are insulation insulators okay conduction in daily life we cook food in vessels made up of metals when the vessel is heated heat is transferred from the metal to the food when we iron dresses heat is transferred from the iron to the cloth handles of cooking uh, uh, cooking utensils are made up of plastics and wood because they are poor conductor of heat the temperature inside igloo is warm because snow is a poor conductor of heat <coughs> next we need to see about convection see the activity take some water in a vessel and heat it on a stove touch the surface of the water it will be cold touch it after some time it will be hot now how it how did the heat which was supplied at the bottom of uh, bottom reach the top when water in the vessel is heated water molecule at the bottom receives the heat energy and moves upward then the molecules at the top come down and get heat this kind of heat transfer is known as convection the water molecules in the previous case the molecule will not move just the heat energy vibration is moved from one place one molecule to the another molecule here the water molecule itself move from the bottom to the top 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 to the bottom uh, this kind of heat transfer is known as convection this is how air in the atmosphere is also heated thus the form of heat transfer from place of higher temperature to places of lower temperature by the actual movement of molecule is called convection convection takes place in liquid and gases so water convection um, formation of land breeze and sea breeze is due to convection of air wind flows from one region to another region by convection in hot air balloons heat is transferred by convection and so the balloon raises in refrigerator cool air moves downward and replaces the hot air because of convection the third one radiation it is a commonly commonly occurring process in the universe radiation is the third form of heat energy uh, like conduction and convection molecule is needed a medium is needed but radiation there is no requirement of medium by conduction heat is transferred through solid by convection heat is transferred through liquid and gases 
but by radiation heat can be transferred through empty space even through vacuum heat energy from the sun reaches the earth by this form of heat transfer radiation is defined as the way of heat transfer from one place to another in the form of electromagnetic waves there is no need for a medium it can even transfer through vacuum radiation in daily life heat energy from the sun reaches the uh, earth by radiation while standing near fire we feel the heat which is transferred as radiation black surfaces are absorb heat energy heat radiation so that the bottom of the cooking vessels are painted black while color uh, white color reflects heat energy heat radiation that's why we are advised to wear white cloth during summer heat transfer by radiation is visible to our eyes when a substance is heated to 500 degrees celsius the radiation begins to become visible to the eye as a dull red glow and it is sensed as warm by the skin further heating rapidly increases the amount of radiation and its perceived color become orange yellow and finally white next we need to see the measurements calorimetry we studied about the effect of heat energy when the heat energy is supplied to substances physical changes takes place in them solid form of water is changed to liquid form and liquid form of water changed to gaseous form these are all the physical changes due to heat energy similarly heat energy produced chemical changes also to know more about physical and chemical changes that take place in substances we need to measure the amount of heat involved the technique used to measure the amount of heat involved is a physical or a chemical process is known as calorimetry so temperature what is a temperature heat is different temperature is different that you might have learnt in your 6th or 7th standard let's see the definition of temperature now temperature is a physical quantity which ex- expresses uh, whether an object is hot or cold it is measured with help of thermometer there are three scales to measure the temperature they are celsius scale fahrenheit scale kelvin scale among these three scales kelvin is the most commonly used one by the scientist the as a unit for temperature is also kelvin okay you might have learned about it elaborately in your 9th standard let's see unit of heat we know that heat is a form of energy the unit of energy in si system is joule temperature is different the temperature's si system is kelvin heat's si system is energy joule so heat is also measured in joule it is expressed by the symbol j the most commonly used unit of heat is calorie one calorie is the amount of heat energy required to rise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree celsius uh, the uh, the relation between calorie and joule is given as one calorie is equal to 4.186 joule next we need to see heat capacity in general the amount of heat energy gained or lost by a substance is de- determined by three factors first mass of the substance second change in temperature of the substance third nature of the material of the substance different substances require different amount of heat energy to reach a particular temperature this nature is known as heat capacity of a substance heat capacity is defined as the amount of heat energy required by a substance to rise its temperature by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin and it is denoted by the symbol degree celsius heat capacity is equal to amount of heat energy required that is q divided by rise in temperature delta t rise in temperature means it is a difference that's why delta t is used so specific heat capacity symbol is c so c is equal to q divided by delta t the unit of heat capacity is calorie divided by degree celsius in si system it is measured in joule per kelvin or joule kelvin per minus 1 water has higher heat capacity than most other substances this accounts for the use of water as common coolant 100 grams of water can take away more heat than 100 grams of oil so problems have been given to you it is a very simple problem you can do it by yourself if you have doubt please call me specific heat capacity let's see that when the heat capacity of a substance is expressed 
for unit mass it is called specific heat capacity so what is the definition for specific heat capacity specific heat capacity of a substance is defined as amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin it is denoted by the symbol uh, c prime specific heat capacity is equal to amount of heat energy required again divided by mass into rise in temperature so c prime is equal to q divided by m into a is the unit for specific heat capacity is joule kilogram power minus 1 kelvin power minus 1 next we shall see about calorie meter a calorie meter is a device used to measure the amount of heat gained or lost by a substance it consists of a vessel made up of metal like copper or aluminium which are good conductors of heat and electricity the metallic vessel is kept in a insulating jacket to prevent heat loss to the environment there are two holes in it through one hole a thermometer is inserted to measure the temperature of the content a steerer is inserted through the another hole of steering another hole for steering the content in the vessel the vessel is filled with liquid which is heated by passing current through the heating element using this device we can measure the heat capacity of the liquid in the con container so the structure and working is given you learn this this is a very important question the world's first ice calorie meter was used in the year 1782 by antony lavoisier and pierre simon laplace to determine the heat generated by various chemical changes let's see thermostat it is nowadays very common in the cold region country the thermostat is a electric uh, electronic thermostat has been uh, shown in your picture a thermostat is a device which maintains the temperature of a place or a object constant the word thermostat is derived from two greek word thermo means the heat and static means staying the same the thermostats are used in any device or system that gets heats or heated or cool down to a preset temperature it turns an appliance it turns uh, an appliance or a circuit on or off when a particular temperature is reached devices which use thermostat includes building heater central heater in a room air conditioner water heater as well as kitchen equipment including oven and refrigerator sometimes a thermostat functions both as a sensor and the controller of a thermal system let's see thermos flask nowadays it is not commonly used we use metal flask but this is the previous primitive one let's see the working um, and structure of this thermo flask the thermo flask is an insulating storage vessel that keeps its content hotter or cooler than the surrounding for a longer time it is primarily meant to enhance the storage period of a liquid by maintaining a very uniform temperature and avoiding the possibilities of getting a bad taste so what is the working of a thermo flask a thermo flask has double wall which are evacuated it is silvered on the on the inside the vacuum between the two walls prevents the heat being transferred from the inside to the outside by conduction and convection while very little air between the walls there is almost no transfer of heat from the inner wall to the outer wall or vice versa conduction can only occur at the point where the two walls met or meet at the top of the bottle and through an insulated support at the bottom the silvered walls reflect radiation or uh, radiating heat back to the liquid in the bottle so the uh, heat of the substance inside is maintained constant so this is what given in your lesson heat so i hope you all understand the lesson learn well gain your improve your scientific knowledge all the best girls